This news comes tonight at a time when literal neo-Nazis, dudes with big swastika flags, were marching in Wisconsin this weekend, rallying outside a historic Jewish site in downtown Madison, Wisconsin. That was Saturday this weekend. Then the very next day, Sunday morning, a grenade was found strapped to a pole outside a synagogue in Lakewood, New Jersey. Today, federal charges were filed against a Utah man who allegedly made multiple death threats to an organization in D.C. advocating for Palestinian rights. This comes at a time when the Israel-Hamas war feels just like an unceasing bloodbath at this point, with Hamas still holding Israelis hostage for a month and a half now, with the death toll inside Gaza now estimated at over 13,000 people killed with one and a half million people displaced in Gaza from their homes with nowhere to go, slim to no hope that there will be anywhere for them to return to at all at any time. The, the, the moral calamity and the ongoing catastrophe in that war has caused such suffering and death there and such grief and outrage around the world here in the United States that has correlated not just with grief and outrage, but with a major spike in hate crimes committed by Americans against other Americans, which makes it just an extra auspicious time for the richest man in the world to be using his media outlet to tell the world effectively that white people have an enemy in the Jews for Republican political figures to say that they might like to lock up anyone in the media who criticizes him for that. For the leader of the Republican Party to be promising treason investigations for his perceived critics in the media. And also that he's going to use the U.S. Army against American civilians who protest against him. And also that he's going to build camps in America in which he's going to lock up millions of people because he wants power again so he can crush his enemies and root out what he calls the vermin in this country, the people who oppose him, the internal threat. <laughs> it is, of course, never a good time uh, for any of this. But the fact that this is all happening at once right now, it's like the difference between one warning light going off on your dashboard while you're driving and all the warning lights going off all at once while you're driving, right? When the latter happens, you pull over because obviously this is serious.